Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Sunny Delight back again with another banger. I'm sorry about yesterday. Uh, it was storming really bad and I also had to help my friend get ready so he could go to a job site. But I hope you guys do like this new type of gameplay with Skyrim. Um, I This is my first time ever playing Skyrim, which I know for a, or to a lot of people, that's just like straight blasphemy. They, they'd be like, what the fuck, you've never played Skyrim? Like, this is the best game fucking ever. And then they just beat the shit out of me. But nah, yeah, this is my first time playing Skyrim, and I really like this game so far. It's really cool. And I know I'm like not, not even that far yet. It's just that... I'm one of those people who, when I play a game like Skyrim, Dragon Quest, Fallout, I do all the extra mini quests before moving on. But today, guys, we're going to be talking about the time that I did acid while I was at high school. So, this story takes place like my junior year of high school, so like 2016, 2017. And I'm just going to tell y'all like how my school is built and the layout because that's like a super important role in this in this story super important I don't know if I said that right super important role in this story so it's basically two super long hallways it's a two-story high school and it's two super long hallways and on one side it's like all your choir theater band uh, math and science and then it's probably like a five-minute walk down to the other side and you have all your gym basketball locker rooms uh welding computer classes and then you have english and history in the middle you have like spanish languages and you have like english and everything in the middle too it's just these are like the main like where it is and the way they would have your classes set up is you'd have like math for first period and then you have to go all the way across the school and I think for passing period when I was in high school, it was like five minutes. Yeah, and our school was built for like 2,000 people, right? Bro, this motherfucker was packed. 4,000 people at least were in that motherfucker at a time. It was horrible. It was like, uh, if you've ever been to a roller coaster park or like uh, Six Flags. Yeah, if you've ever been to Six Flags and you try to bend on like the Superman or something, most popular ride it's like that it's just everybody's just toe to toe stepping on each other's feet it's horrible bro I hated it but now that you know this layout of the school and how packed it was um, I wake up in the morning it's like 6 a.m. and my old homie hits me up and we're just gonna call him a uh, hmm we're gonna call him like something lame like Bruce yeah we're gonna call him Bruce so Bruce hits me up in the morning he's like yo I don't know what you're doing at school today, but I know a connect for some acid. And I reply back and I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, I barely even started smoking weed. I don't know if I should try acid yet. And he's like, come on, bro. Don't be a pussy. Like, we'll just do it. And if we need to, we'll go out to Egypt. In Egypt, I've said this in a bunch of other stories. I'll say it again. It's this place that was like a football field and a soccer field right beside our school and people would just go there to like fuck have orgies gang bangs and smoke that's all it was known for and even the teachers knew about it it was disgusting you'd take one step in and there was just condoms everywhere but you know nick's like hey bro if anything goes wrong you know i, I got you bro I, I got you we'll go to egypt and we'll trip out there now i was just looking at him and i was like but are you sure though he was like, am I sure what? I was like, are you sure that I'm going to be good? And he just kind of gives me that Kodak Black, like, I hope so. <laughs> you know, like, and I'm just like, fuck, bro. Like, I'm probably going to be in school drooling out the mouth just out of it. You know, people are going to be tapping on my shoulder and I'm going to just be tweaking out and everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the back of the classroom like, nightmare, 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 nightmare. <laughs> like, I'm going to be tripping sack, you feel me? And that's what I thought. I definitely wasn't prepared for this. But at the same time, I've always just been uh, one of those people when somebody is like, hey, bro, let's go do this. I'm just like, yo, fuck it. Let's go do it. Who am I to say no? And... I usually never get anything good out of that, but hey, bro, it is what it is. But anyways, I'd say it's about like 8 o'clock now. 
about two hours goes by I get I get to school I had to ride the bus at this time and I get to school I meet up with Nick I'm like yo what's up I dap up with them and everything we start chilling we start talking about the ladies and everything we're like oh man bro I really wish like you know I could fuck this bitch or whatever high schoolers talked about back then it's it's been a, a minute now that I, I think back on it and he's just like yo bro so during first period I'm gonna hit you up and when I do just ask to go to the restroom and just dip we're gonna dip we're gonna go to the school parking lot and then we're gonna go across the street now we were on like a main road and one side was the school and the other side was this big like shopping center and all these fast food places i'm just like yo so we're gonna meet him over there and he's like nah i'm hungry and i want a motherfucking egg mcmuffin i'm like yo bro bet if you want you should slide me one of those if not i'm good on it because i was low-key poor my junior year the last year i had dated this girl and i dropped like i think like 2.5k on her i worked like almost all throughout that whole year of high school and i spent all my money on her like a dumbass Drop a like, drop a comment if y'all want to hear about that. But <clears throat> we get, well, I get the class because I didn't have a class with Bruce. But my class, his class, he had one of the, um, <clears throat> I think he had science or some, one of the classes over by band because we were both in band. I know I'm a nerd, but I had math and I hated math and I still hate math. I hate numbers. That shit confuses the fuck out of me. But only only in math, though. When it comes to anything outside of math, it's like, I'm good. But I have to walk all the way across the school. So I'm like, I right, bet I get to class, and then I'm just waiting. And the teacher's talking about, like, parabolas or something. I like how every time people make fun of math, it's just always you. the go-to thing is parabola. If you ever see a math joke, like, or, like, something on Twitter where it's like, Oh, why did I have to go to school to learn math instead of taxes? I only learned about they gonna say parabolas. <coughs> Quote me on that because I know I'm I know I'm right. But I get to math and you know she's just chatting a whole bunch of bullshit about like numbers and everything and she sees me and she's like, Mark, are you paying attention? And I'm just like, uh <laughs> no. And I laugh it off a little bit and then the class is all just looking at me and I'm like Oh, man, bro, she's going to embarrass the fuck out of me. I just, I can feel it. And then she's just like, all right, we'll step outside. I'm like, what? Come on now. Don't be like that. So I step outside, and she follows right behind me, and she just gives me this big lecture about, oh, you have a great potential and a great future, and you need to focus more in class. And, you know, that, that whole teacher talk that they give you when you get in trouble with something, I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. The whole way through it, I get back into class, and Bruce hits me up, and I'm just like, yo, bet, bro. So I'm like, oh, Miss uh, Miss Teacher, can I go to the restroom? And she's just like, for sure. So I'm like, bet. I don't know why she was so, like, it was so easy to get out of the class, because usually in at this school, it was hard to go to the restroom, because... It was just like, even on your first day as a freshman, you were, it was just like notorious. You you knew that people ask for the, the restroom pass, and they never come back. They, they might come back, but like an hour later at the end of the class. <laughs> so all the teachers would always just be like, no, you can wait till passing period, which doesn't happen during passing period either because they're, it's too crowded in the school. You can't eat. You can barely make it to your classes within five minutes. So I don't know why they ever told us to use the restroom within the five minutes because, because it's just impossible to use the restroom in that passing period. But I get to this other side and I meet up with Bruce and I'm like, "Yo, what's up, bro? Let's go get this acid." And I'm kind of scared. I'm like, "Yo, I don't, I don't know about this." And he's like, "Yo, don't be a pussy, bro." And I'm just like, "All right, fuck yeah. Let's no, no pussies, bro. No pussy shit." So we go over to Burger King and we're chilling there. We order some nuggets. It's all good. Everything's great. Everything's going amazingly. Plug hits up Bruce. He's like, yo, I'm like 30 minutes away, but I'm still like right by the school. I'm just in a neighborhood that's like really far in. <clears throat> we're like, bet we'll come to you. 
We go to him and we get this acid, and when we come back to the school, it's like 11.30, lunchtime. Prime time for all of the goons and jits to just be wiling out in school with just no restrictions. If you... If you're in high school or you've been to high school, you know that lunchtime is just when all the retards just go and act up. They just like, you know, bang their head against the... uh, There's weirdos in lunch. If you say that you've never heard of the things I'm about to say, you're lying. There's people banging their heads against the, like, the tables. People are throwing food. It's crazy, but it's lit at the same time. But we sit down. We get our food. We sit down. And... You know, he pops out these tabs, and he's just like, all right, bro, I'm going to give you one, and I'm going to take one with you. I'm like, all right, cool, because we had band after this, so we both had the same class. So I pop this tab, and it, you know, it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like a piece of paper on my tongue, and he's just like, all right, don't swallow it. No homo, (laughs) but don't swallow it and just leave it on your tongue, or you can leave it, like, in your gums, you know, like on your gums and just leave it there let it dissolve and personally from my new experiences and recent experiences I just leave it on my gum because it doesn't move around or anything it doesn't bother me and I just wait for it to fully dissolve like till there is no paper or anything so we pop these tabs and then lunch is over in about like 30 minutes that that's crazy to me how we had hour long classes but only a 30 30 minute long lunch pretty crazy but you know lunch is over pretty quick and then I'm kind of feeling it but then once we get to band oh man bro this shit is smacking so we get into band and I'm just like yo Bruce um I'm faded bro I don't I don't even know how to tell him how I feel I'm just like yo I'm gonna go into the percussion room we were on a drum line and like percussion basically it just means drums so we had our own room for lockers and everything and I was like yo I'm gonna stay in here for the whole class period I turned the lights off and then just like 30 minutes later out of nowhere which turning the lights off was a bad idea because I was low-key kind of tripping out but I I just closed my eyes and I kind of tried to keep myself calm 30 minutes later lights switch on and my teacher comes in and he's like yo Mark like what are you doing we're in there looking for you and I'm like oh my bad man like I just don't feel so good He's like, oh, okay, like, well, what's, what's wrong? And he kind of knows what's up because he, he was and probably still is a, a smoker himself of the, you know, the marijuana. And he was like, okay, well, I, I just saw your eyes. I know that you're off something that isn't, you know, weed. So please don't do this ever again. I'm going to turn the lights back off and let you calm down. You know, just you do you. That's pretty much what he told me. He turned the light back. He turns the light back off and he leaves. I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm gonna keep tripping balls. So, about like five minutes before this class ends, I'm like, I'm gonna go to the restroom, take a piss. I take a piss and I turn around to wash my hands. And I just I look up into the mirror and I I didn't know, cause Bruce did not tell me not to look in the mirror. And. I just, I start having a conversation with myself, but like my lips aren't moving, but I swear I could hear my own voice. It was crazy. So this class ends and then I have ROTC next. And really the whole reason I just skipped that whole last part was because, uh, I spent like the last five minutes of class just talking into the mirror or I guess I wasn't talking, but I was, I I don't know, but I did that all the way up until like the the speakers on the the ceilings at the school rang with the bell and I was just like oh okay like I gotta quit tripping out and go to my next class which is ROTC it's like a military class and we have PT that day which is basically run a mile push-ups and sit-ups and I was telling these people who were like they're not captains because if I say captain I feel like y'all are gonna think they're like the teachers but they're not the teachers they're students but they're like their higher rank or something and I was telling them like yo I smoke too much weed because if I tell them I'm off acid I know for sure they're gonna snitch on me because these are like goody goody kids but if I just say I'm, I smoke some weed and I, I can't run and stuff they would be like okay plenty of other people in this class are smoking weed and stuff <coughs> excuse me so I, I say that and they're like okay just walk the track 
I'm walking the track. Man, I was tripping balls. I was just walking around, and I felt like I could see, you know, all these different shapes in the clouds. And then I'd look down at the track, and we had one of those red tracks with the lines and everything on it for, you know, uh, tracks, track and everything. And I'd just be looking at it, and the lines would be all squiggly and everything. And I'd be like, yo, this is, this is something else, man. So this class ends, and I get on the bus to go home and it was just it was crazy i was looking out the bus and my homie that i always sat with he was poking me he was like yo are you okay dude i was like yeah i'm just tripping balls and he just starts laughing i look back out the window i'm just looking at the trees and the cars and when it's time for me to get off at my bus stop everybody's like hey bro hey bro like it's time for you to get off and i'm just like oh oh my bad okay i get off and i walk home and i just remember i played uh I think I played World War II um, after this because that's when that game had just come out and I was playing a lot of World War II but I played that off the acid and it was it's pretty good pretty good day and yeah 10 out of 10 experience but anyways guys that's the time that I tripped on acid at high school if you like it drop a like down below drop a comment if you're not sub drop a sub and if you're new here I just want to say thank you for watching all the way to this I appreciate your time. It's been your boy, Sunny Delight. Peace.